Cobbiz. Hello and welcome to Cobbiz. My name is Shalin Verma, and today our team brings you a detailed explanation of the environmental compliances applicable to industries manufacturing synthetic organic chemicals with respect to dye and dye intermediates. So let's start this video by understanding why this industry has been included in the EIA notification and requires an environmental clearance. Category 5F of the EIA notification 2006 includes synthetic organic chemical industries that includes dye and dye intermediates, bulk drug and intermediates excluding drug formulation, synthetic rubbers, basic organic chemicals, other synthetic organic chemicals and chemical intermediates. So continuing with our topic of interest that is dye manufacturing industries. Dyes are organic compounds that are used to impart color to substrates. Dye stuff is a general industrial term covering both dyes and pigments. Dye intermediates are raw materials used in the manufacturing of dye stuff. The production of dyes involves several stages starting from petroleum based products such as naphtha and natural gas which produces benzene and toluene. Nitro aromatic compounds are manufactured from benzene and toluene which are further used to make dye intermediates. As these pigment dyes are also essential inputs to products such as the paint industries, many small scale industries manufacture these products in batch operations. But due to this unique operation, a significant portion of the product is lost as waste in this process. Coupled with the peculiar and pollution characteristics of the dyes, prior environmental clearance thus becomes mandatory for this highly polluting industry. Let's now understand the process of environment clearance for this industry. The SEIAA or the State Environmental Impact Assessment Authority evaluates and approves projects related to synthetic organic chemicals dealing in the manufacturing of dye and dye intermediates at the state level. On the other hand, the Ministry of Environment is responsible for enforcing environmental regulations and issuance of environmental clearance at the national level. The process of environmental clearance typically involves the following steps. First is submission of the application, a detailed project report or DPR that outlines the project's scope, potential environmental impacts and mitigation measures is submitted at this stage. The next stage is screening and scoping by the appraisal authority that reviews this DPR and conducts a preliminary screening to determine the category, scope and extent of the environmental impact assessment that will be needed. The SEIAA may also conduct public consultations and stakeholder meetings to gather the feedback on the project. The next stage includes conducting the environmental impact assessment. This stage will include a baseline study, impact assessment, mitigation plan formulation and formulation of an environment management plan or EMP. The next stage is public hearing to gather feedbacks on the EIA report from local stakeholders, experts and the general public. After submitting the EIA report, the concerned authority reviews it and takes the final decision. The next stage is granting of the environmental clearance. Based on the EIA report and public hearing, the authority grants or rejects the environmental clearance for the project. Lastly, monitoring and compliance will also be needed once the project is operational. The project must also submit regular reports on its environmental performance to the SIA and the Ministry of Environment. It is also essential to understand the sustainable strategies in the EC process for understanding the compliance process. The benefits of cleaner production in the dye and dye intermediate sector are numerous and includes the following. Conservation of raw material and energy lower cost, improved environment, better compliance with environmental regulations, enhanced working environment, improved quality, improved efficiency, fulfilling the changing market requirements for eco-friendly products and lastly create a positive public image. Now if you are a project proponent planning a similar project, you must be aware about the cleaner production assessment or CPA approach in the environmental clearance process. The cleaner production assessment or CPA approach is a systematic method used to identify and evaluate pollution prevention and resource conservation opportunities in industrial process. The CPA approach in this sector involves the following steps, identification of inputs and outputs analysis of the process, evaluation of alternatives, implementation of solutions, monitoring and evaluation. So in conclusion, the EC process for dye and dye intermediate manufacturing industry is a critical aspect that ensures 
that the industry operates in an environmentally sustainable manner. Compliance with environmental regulations and policies benefits the environment and enhances the industry's reputation and competitiveness in the global market. Therefore, dyes and dye intermediate industries needs to prioritize environmental compliances to ensure a sustainable future. The assistance of certified EIA experts in the process can help identify the extent of EIA needed and streamline the whole process. At COPBIS, we can help you identify and fulfill all your legal obligations and applicable environmental compliances related to your manufacturing unit. Reach us for any business related queries through the information shown. That was all for today. Like and share if you found this helpful. Thank you for watching.